Welcome friends, let's talk about the concept of a projection matrix. Let's make a picture. Imagine you have an axis coming off this way, and then you have an axis going this way, and then you have an axis going this way. This is kind of like two-dimensional depiction of three-dimensional space. And there, imagine you have a point. Maybe the coordinates are x, say, sub 1, and then x sub 2, and then also x, x sub 3, this way. What you want to do is you want to project this from three-dimensional space to two-dimensional space by kind of casting a shadow into the plane down below. So to do this mathematically, you have to somehow figure out how to extract x sub 1 and x sub 2 and kind of leave off x sub 3 because it's the third three-dimensional coordinate. So here you're going to type the following and the following. 3 by 3. You're going to make a matrix. Now in this column, you're going to put the following. 1 and then 0 and then 0. That's taking 1 of x sub 1 basically. It's like a little unit vector along this axis, so to speak, right here. Now for the next one now, you're going to take the following. 0 and then 1 and then also 0. Now why am I writing that? Because that's essentially what it's doing is it's like taking a unit vector along this axis right here. 0, 1, 0. Because you want to eliminate the third coordinate when you project from 3 to 2 dimensional space. Here, it's going to put a 0, followed by a 0, and then followed by a 0 for that reason, you see? And then you just have to multiply this by the vector representation of that point. So in other words, it's going to look like this, a 3 by 1. And then put in the coordinates. So you're going to have x sub 1 followed by x sub 2, and then lastly followed by x sub 3. Now you just have to carry out the multiplication. So to do that, you can proceed as follows. You can take this x sub 1, and you can just distribute it to 1, 0, 0. That's a way of doing it. So it's going to look like this x sub 1, and it's going to be here then 3 by 1 matrix that says it's 1, so 0, and then 0. So again, literally what this is doing, this first step, is that it's taking what this vector here, the red one, along this axis, and it's going to scale it by x sub 1. Then from there you're going to add to it x sub 2, and you're going to multiply by 3 by 1. That's going to be here, 0, 1, and then 0. What's that doing is it's taking basically the green vector, which is a, a unit vector along the horizontal axis, and you're scaling it by x sub 2. And then you're going to take lastly take x sub 3, and you're going to multiply by a 3 by 1, so it's going to be here 0, 0 and 0. You need the zeros in that column vector there because you want to zero out the three-dimensional z component, so to speak, the third component. And then from here, you just multiply this out. So x sub 1, you're going to distribute over to the first one. So it's going to be a 3 by 1. It's going to be here x sub 1 and then 0 and then 0. And then you're going to do plus 3 by 1. It's going to be here 0, x sub 2, and then also 0. And last is going to be plus, and then 3 by 1, and then 0, and then 0, and then 0. And then you just add all of this up. So it's going to look like the following at the end. 3 by 1, it's going to be x sub 1, and then x sub 2, and the last one is 0. And this is what it looks like at the end. So in other words, by taking the red one here, you see, it's kind of like scaled the basic uh, unit vector. And, that brings you, and then the green one is a scaled version. So I'm going to make this green right here. And that brings you to the point in two-dimensional space, where it says x sub 1 followed by x sub 2. You don't need the x sub 3 anymore. And that's how a projection matrix is kind of designed to work. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.